information from Harrison, Arkansas Police Department that a uh, stolen vehicle uh, had fled from their city. Um, at that time, one of their police officers tried to stop it. Uh, one of the occupants of the vehicle displayed a handgun um, at that time. Uh, they did lose sight of the vehicle. Um, a while after that, we were able to pick the uh, vehicle up along with the highway patrol um, south of Highlandville. Um, the highway patrol initiated a uh, traffic stop. The vehicle fled. Um, obviously, it led us on high-speed uh, pursuit. Uh, the information we had on the vehicle and why we continued to chase it uh, was uh, information that uh, one of the uh, suspects in the vehicle was uh, an escapee out of the state of Virginia. Um, I believe that uh, we're working on that confirmation now, but I believe it is an escapee out of Virginia. Um, we pursued uh, the suspect vehicle, um, obviously here to uh, Campbell and James River, where one of my uh, patrol deputies was able to uh, perform tactical vehicle intervention, spin the vehicle out where he lost control, and uh, that's where the uh, pursuit came to an end. Uh, both suspects uh, fled from the vehicle. Um, uh, one of the troopers was able to take uh, one of the suspects into custody. One of our canine units was able to uh, chase down the male suspect, um, where the canine did catch the uh, suspect. So both suspects are in custody. There's no danger to the public at this time. And were there any injuries to any of your officers or uh, the suspects? Uh, there's no injuries to any of the officers. Uh, I don't believe there's any injuries to uh, any bystanders. Um, both suspects are going to the hospital with uh, minor injuries. They'll be checked out before they go to jail. Anything else that, uh, that you want to say that I didn't know? No, I don't believe so. I think it's important to understand that uh, uh, when we uh, do uh, these police chases, obviously they... Uh, create a substantial risk to the uh, motoring public. But uh, in an instant like this, when we have a uh, suspect that is an escapee from uh, another state, and it's believed of the information we initially had that it was an escapee that was wanted on murder charges. So uh, at that point, uh, we do everything we can do to uh, keep the public safe and, and get them into custody, and that's what we did tonight. How, how long was, uh, was the high-speed chase? Uh, it, it lasted about 25 minutes. Um, uh, unfortunately, we weren't able to stop it any quicker than we did. We tried several times. Um, um, we were able to finally uh, do a tactical vehicle intervention, like I, uh, I said earlier. We spun the vehicle out. Uh, it lost control. Um, unfortunately, it did hit another vehicle, but those people were not hurt. So uh, everything is uh, good. Uh, all the good guys are uh, in good shape tonight. The suspects are going to custody, and all the bystanders are in good shape. When did uh, the chase start in Christian County? Uh, at about 9.30. And where, where did it kind of start? Um, it's south of Highlandville on Highway 160. Anything else that I didn't ask? Uh, I don't believe so. Okay. That's all um, question. There was a lot of uh, messages I received in reference to uh, possibly one of the individuals uh, being wanted on the U.S. Marshals. Would that be the, um, the individual that is, is from out of state? It could be. I'm not. I'm not sure at this time uh, if they are uh, wanted by the marshals or the marshals were uh, uh, seeking them for arrest. But it's possible. I just don't know right now. Okay. Thank you. Thank you.